Hello everybody, it's Maker Schoolhouse here and today we're going to make this really awesome and useful cardboard track. So I've included some of the plans that you can pause on and look at the dimensions, but basically you're going to need about three sheets of cardboard that is two feet by three feet um, in dimension and we're going to cut it down. And the trick to this um, track are the interlocking notches that you're going to create and they're going to be about three inches by an eighth of an inch thick. Um, and it's really important that you get these down um, and that you get one eighth inch thick cardboard. I usually buy this at a local cardboard store called EcoBox, and so hopefully you have something like that locally. Um, but yeah, these uh, notches that you're going to create are really important in the stability of the track, and this track can last um, years if you make it correctly. So some of the tools that you're going to need are um, a really sharp X-Acto knife, a couple of measuring tools, maybe um, a quick square, and a pencil. And so I'm going to just walk you through it. Um, and of course be in fast motion, but this will take you probably about an hour and a half to make. So be sure you have a cutting mat underneath um, so you don't damage your surface. And I'm making my three notches on the three foot um, side of my cardboard, and then I'm making a couple more of these notches on the two foot um, side of this board. And I just do one piece at a time. These are gonna eventually be the two outer um, frames of the track and so yeah you can usually kind of center one and then do two on either side it doesn't really matter where they are um, because you're going to obviously um, get your second piece and then you can trace your notches so that you have them lined up so here I am uh, I just traced the notches and I'm cutting the second frame of the um, of the track. So after this, you're going to use these crossbar frames um, that also have those notches in. I pre-cut them and they fit nicely and because they are both three inches long, um, they should sit flush with the edge of the cardboard. So this really creates a strong frame. Um, and the last one's a little bit shorter so that when you put the track down, the length of it, it doesn't um, inhibit the, the, the path. So then you kind of um, go about six or eight inches in from the top um, and you car uh, just carve out a nice little curve um, and then you can trace the other side and create the other side of the curve. So now you have the frame. Um, now this is going to be the platform that the um, car is going to sit on. So it's actually a little bit um, wider than the other crossbars. It goes on top. And then here I'm making a couple of um, hinges, cardboard hinges, um, so I can stabilize the back of the platform. Um, so I just kind of put some hot glue on this uh, 12 foot wide piece of cardboard um, because uh, I'm going to have to put some gussets there too. So you can see I made these nice cord cardboard hinges, I uh, have my hot glue, and then this just stabilizes uh, underneath the platform. And then I'm going to put a couple of triangular gussets underneath there because this is where students will be placing their cars and so it needs a little bit of reinforcement. Um, so I just have two really simple um, right triangles that uh, the legs are six inches and I'm reinforcing the platform. Um, and then you might want to also just go around with some hot glue and reinforce some of the seams. Um, it's pretty stable without any reinforcement but um, depending on the age of your kids, they might be rough with these things, or I've been having my kids jump their cars from one track to the other, so they can get floppy. Now, the track part is gonna be a pretty long piece of cardboard, and it's important that the flutes of the cardboard or the corgets run parallel to the, the width of it, um, So you want because then you wanna roll it up so that it actually creates a curve, and then it's a foot wide, so it nicely fits um, into your track and then you just have a little flap on the top here you add some glue and and make sure you don't put too much so it doesn't squirt out and you have a nice uh, platform flat platform for the cars to start on and I'm just reinforcing it a little bit here and here um, and yeah here's my track 
the students really, really have enjoyed it. Um, we've been using it for a couple of weeks now. So first the students made cars and then they calculated average speed. Um, they varied the mass and figured out where the center of gravity was. Um, they did calculations to see how the distance varied with the changing mass, um, all sorts of things. And of course we did the jumping over from one track to the other. So yeah, let me know if you're able to make this track, if you have any questions and I'd love to see your pictures. Thanks for watching.